feasts are quite useful in the game. Let me show you what they do. Um, go in the game. Okay, so, you know, I have this castle. And my renown is 669. I have decent relations with people. Um, right to rule 57. The marriage gives you three. Uh... Your known lords by relation. You see, I'm already up to 80 with Taubar, Amir Taubar. 68 with Jarl Matured. 59 with Boyer Montawar. 55 with Amir Voldrat. 55 with Count Despin. Um, 46 with Amir Regis. Uh, 35 with Sultan Hakim. Uh, etc. So I'm going to show you how we increase with the um, relation with the lords, the rulers, the vassals, and how you increase your renown in a large way using feasts. So um, because you're married, you go to the Lord's Hall that your hall and your castle. And what you do is go to different cities getting food, oil, um, grape juice, wine, and uh, ale, ginger ale and whatever else. Um, then you click F to talk and uh, tell... Now you can take inventory of your household possessions to add stuff into your um, your larder. And you want a good variety of stuff. So then you say, I was thinking that perhaps we could host a feast. And so your wife, in this case, mine is Lady Geniava. Uh, she says, you know, must be large and varied, a uh, varied repast for the lords, their families. Uh, they should count on a, uh, that we should count on a couple of hundred mouths to feed over several days. Let us take an inventory of our household possessions. So Lady Jenny Ava says of food, which must come before everything else. The amount is magnificent and the variety is sufficient. So you need a good amount and you need a good variety. She says, of drink, which guests will expect in great abundance. The amount is magnificent and the variety is magnificent. Uh, basically, um, there's, I think there's just the ale and the wine. So you just need to have a lot of that to have both the amount and variety magnificent. Of spice, which is essential to demonstrate that we spare no expense as hosts. The amount is magnificent. Of oil, which we shall require to light the lamps. The amount is magnificent. Overall, our table will be considered sufficient. So basically, you go to all the different cities and you should know the good prices by now because you should have been paying attention. And uh, you build a good larder. Um, a good inventory in your wife for the feast. And then you tell her, let us dispatch the imitations. Okay, and it says your quest log has been updated. It's an easy quest to do. Uh, I'll show you. So Lady Jenny Ava says, I shall send word then that we will host a feast as soon as condition in the conditions in the realm permit. You perhaps should continue to stock our larder so that we may do justice to our reputation for hospitality. Okay. And so I'll say, uh, I clicked it, I left clicked, and then I left click, we shall speak later. Tab, leave. Now, if you um, look at the notes, go to factions. I'm in the Saranid Sultanate right now. 
you'll see we are at peace with everybody at the moment. Peace time is a good time to have the feast. So I'll press the space bar to leave this unpaused. But I'm not going to speed it up. I, And you see the message comes on the screen. The great lords of your kingdom plan to gather at your hall in Reindy Castle for a feast. So there, that tells me now they're going to start coming for a feast. So I press the space bar. And um, if you wait and watch, people should begin arriving. I think the people, you have to be friends with people already to some degree for them to come. But once you get that, then you can milk that to increase their friendship and other stats with them. So, um, because I'm not at uh, war, most of these messages are not too relevant to me. Um, but uh, it's interesting to watch how the other countries are relating to each other. Ah, here comes our first, Amir Bracha. So it is the morning. All right, do I see anybody else? Let me go in and talk to Amir Bracha and I'll show you. Okay, if I talk to him, click F. He says, good to see you again. I'm at relation 27 with him now. Left click the screen here. And notice I go from 27 to 28. So I get an easy point of relation, essentially, with all, uh, and I must beg my leave, left click, tab, leave. So I got a point of relation with him, and I'll, I'll leave the space bar pressed to allow other people to come. So it's May 15th, 1260, Amir Bracha came in the morning. Uh, and here comes Amir Rigas. And I see Amir Velashin. So Rigas and Velashin are arriving. All right, so I'll go in myself. All right, F to talk to Rigas. Relation 46, left click. Now relation goes from 46 to 47. I must beg my leave. And, and then Velashin. And my relation goes from 43 to 44. Now, I already talked to Braca, Emir Braca. So... Our relation's 28, and it stays at 28. But if another day transpires, um, my relation may go up again. So pressing the space bar and waiting. Um, roughly, I can get out of this one relation a day. Okay, so here comes Amir Talbar. And Amir Voldrat. So that's Amir Talbar and Amir Voldrat. If I go, I'll go in again. There's Talbar, there's Voldrat. So F, left click, and I go from 80 to 81 with him. And Voldrat, F. I'm at 55. I go from 55 to 56 with him. Now, if I talk to Bracha, I'm at 28. 
and I did not get anything. So I will leave these other people which came after Bracha alone. I'll leave. And I'll click the space bar. Here comes Sultan Hakim and Amir Delinard. Sultan Hakim and Amir Delinard. So I go back in. All right, Amir Delinard, talk to him. I'm at six with him. And now I go from six to seven. Uh, Sultan Hakim, I'm at 35. Click, go from 35 to 36. Now let's see, do I get anything with Bracha? I'm at 28. No. Um, let's see, Regis. I'm at 47, get nothing. Velashin, I'm at 44, I get nothing. Okay. Sometimes you can get multiple points with people. I generally try about once a day with them. So in the dawn of the next day, I'll go back in this thing again and see if I can get extra points. Okay, I'll hit control to speed this up a little bit. Control again. Uh, evening, and I'm just, all right, cl clicking the space bar to let it go a little slower now. You have to be a little careful when you speed it up. Okay, when it's dawn, I will let go of the space bar and go back in. Late night. So I just do it this way to do it about once a day. All right, I join the feast, go to the hall. Now I'm going to uh, see if I can get an extra point out of these people. Okay, Amir Bracha, 28. I don't get anything. I don't know, may be affected by what you have. Regis at 47. I don't get anything. Velashin, I'm at 44. Didn't get anything. So I got one point from each of those. Amir Voldrad at 36, nothing new. <laughs> Eat a kick. Uh, 56 with Amir Voldrat. And notice it goes from 56 to 57. So I got a second one from Voldrat. I'm at 81 with Talbar. Notice it went from 81 to 82 with Talbar. So I got two points with those gentlemen. Delinard, I'm at seven. And I didn't get anything extra. Uh, okay, so I got two extra, I got at least one with all of them. And I got one extra speak with a couple of them and I'll uh, hit the control key to speed this up a little bit and then I'll leave it on the space bar at this point so they will stay for a couple of days in each day Space bar. Those provocations often indicate that war may occur between 
those people. So if you're trying to figure out who's going to go to war, those give you a clue as who is getting closer to war than other people. But I'm not reading those because the point of this video is how the feasts work. Okay, now if you forgive me, I'm, there we go. Now notice I gained two with each of the people at the feast and I gained 19 renown. Uh, so the renown depends on what you have. I got um, 20 renown the last two times that I had feasts. So they, it, they, it gave me a little bit less. So now my renown's up to 685. If I get one more feast, 15 more, I'll gain another in my party size limit. So I thought you'd just find that interesting. So you can spam feasts uh, to increase uh, in your relation and your renown. Thank you.